Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. My name is Nurul Ayn Fadiha Binti Yusof. My ID number MA19028. So, for this uh, subject, uh, Phoenix Animal Method, we, we choose to use a crane hook as our product for the um, project. So, for this video, I will explain the introduction and objective uh, for our project. We start with uh, the introduction. In various sectors of our profession, a crane hook is a device used for catching and raising the weight for a crane. Hooks are designed in the shape of an engaged ring, chain, or the pin of a shackle or cable socket. Crane hook with circular or singular shape are often used in the manufacturing process. So, a safety lash is frequently installed on a hook to prevent uh, the chain or rope to which the weight is fastened from this edge. As a block, a hook generally contains one or more pulley shift that are used to amplify the power. So, the carbon steel, stainless steel and brass can all be used to make hook. So, that we choose a crane hook as our product for our lab project. Next, the objective. First, Autodesk Nastran. We want to determine the load, mesh and stress using the Autodesk Nastran. Second is, we want to determine the maximum displacement magnitude. And next is the one meter stress. We want to determine the maximum one meter stress in the model. And lastly, the principle. We want to determine first and third principle at the model, which is the crane hook. So that's all from me. I can continue back to my other uh, group mate. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Faisal Mustafa Rattas. Matric number MA19157. This presentation, I will talk about methodology. Firstly, we have five parts in our project. It's very hard. A first part is side plate. And this material and the material for this part is milled steel. And for second part, it's poly. This uh, this part we used cast iron for the material. And the third part bolt we use high string low alloy steel. In part number four hook we use high string low alloy steel. And lastly, last part connector we used cast iron. For the material. Now in find element model, the software we used in our final element method project was Autodesk Inventor Nastran. It uses the Autodesk Nastran software to provide simulation capabilities for a wide range of analysis types, including nonlinear and linear stress. We conducted an analysis on this crane hook using the knowledge we gained during the lecture. Nodes and element using Nastran software. Figure one shows the node and element used for this kernel. This figure. Good afternoon to fellow lecturers and friends. So I'll be presenting uh, chapter 3.2.2 till chapter 3.2.4. So this is the surface contact. So each parts have to contact with uh, another part. So there's total of 17 contact points as you can see at the screenshot below here. These are the contacts made between each part. So this is the assembly crane hook. So after full assembly, this is how our crane hook look like. So this is the complete crane hook assembly. And this uh, meshing settings we used. So the hook was set at 11,496 nodes and 5,724 5, elements for this operation. At the mass settings, we can see in this screenshot here, the element size was set to 0 0.019682. And the beside figure shows the mesh after it's done for the crane hook. So that's all from me. I'll pass to my next teammate. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Karin son of Aplas Ami. My material number is MA19055 and today I am going to present the methodology of our project. 
So um, now I'm going to uh, present the 3.2.5, which is the load part. So the steps to define the load are in the uh, first of all in the part three under subcase one. Right click on loads and select new. Second, in the dial uh, load dialog, change the name. Select the short edge at the opposite end of the beam from the constrained edge. Third, under uh, enter the value for FY field under the magnitude. Fourth, under transient table, click the button. Fifth, in the table data dialog, change the name and go to type. Then select load scale factor versus time. Sixth, enter the numeric value. Seventh, click OK to close the table data and load dialogs and to define the load. So figure six uh, shows the load setup and direction of applied load for the hook. And figure eight uh, shows the load setup and direction of applied load for the side plates. Figure nine shows the load setup and direction of applied load for the pulley. And figure 10 shows the load setup and direction of applied load for the bolts. So here comes the constraint part. So the constraint uses as a relationship between component in assembly to control the behavior and its position. So figure 11 shows the constraint at the fixed bolt face, side plate fixed and pulley fixed. So this is the figure 11, which was, um, uh, which was mentioned earlier. So this figure 11 shows the constraint on the crane hook. And that's all from me. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Niamh Huda Binti Niamh Majani. My metric number is MA18121. Now uh, I will continue with the results and discussion for our project. So first for von Mises stress, uh, the von Mises stress is used to determine if a material such as metal will yield or fracture. So the yield was more uh, equal to the yield limit of the same material uh, under simple tension when the von Mises stress was applied. So the minimum and maximum stress values determined from this project's uh, project analysis are 8.004E02 for the minimum and 1.268 uh, e plus 06 for the maximum. So for the side fix and uh, which is re represented uh, by the dark blue has taken the le uh, least amount of stress whereas the hook uh, which, uh, which is represented by orange and yellow has taken the most. So the investigation revealed uh, that this component can still uh, sustain uh, additional stress. So uh, the one stress for a crane hook is uh, shown in figure 12. So this is the bone misses stress result. Next for first uh, principal stress, to understand the maximum and tensile stress apply uh, the first uh, we apply the first principal stress. So the majority of the crane hood is light blue indica indicating less tension except for the center of the hood which is orange indicating high stress. So the part uh, minimum and maximum stress values uh, were negative 1.764E uh, plus 05 and 1.32E plus 06 respectively. So figure 13 uh, uh, depicts the uh, crane hooks for first principal stress so this is the result for principal stress first principal stress next for the third principal stress uh, so the maximum compressive stress owing to the loading condition is calculated using the third principal stress so we can observe from this analysis that the side uh, and hook parts were covered in orange indicating high tension whereas the back of the hood was covered in the pale blue indicating minimum stress so this crane hook has a minimum and maximum stress of negative 7.28 e plus 05 and 2.094 e plus 05 respectively so based on this analysis lah. so this is the result uh, for the third principal stress next for displacement so this uh, the displacement result depicts the model's deform shape following the solution so the outcome of the analysis is that the top side of uh, of 
of this screen how uh, was represented in dark blue which has the smallest uh, displacement while the hook part was re represented in light blue and green which has the smallest uh, displacement so the highest uh, displacement occurs uh, near the hook's end uh, which is color red 0.0 m and uh, 6.014 e negative 0 6 are the minimum and highest displacement uh, respectively so the, the uh, displacement result for this crane hood is shown in figure 15 so this is the uh, displacement result next for the improvement design so the value of the stress that we derive for for analysis from analysis for the original design is 1.26e plus 06. So by expanding the hook's diameter, the stress is reduced to 3.828e plus 05, which is lower than the original value. So we can apply the same stress uh, principles, uh, which states the stress equals force per unit area. So when the value of origin rises, so does the value of stress. So as we can see, uh, this is a result for von Mises stress improvement result. So that's all from me. I will pass to my group mate. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Kainal, son of Apple Sami. My metric number is MA19055. And today I am going to present the conclusion for our project. So in conclusion, this project has been completed along with successfully achieving the objectives. Most of the techniques and skills required to work with Autodesk Nestran in CAD were used in this project. To, through this project, we have developed and mastered numerous new skills while working with this project, which is very much necessary for an engineer. From the results that we have obtained for when misses stress, first principle stress and third principle stress, the crane hook uh, has a moderately high uh, one misser stress, according to the stress analysis. The higher the one missile stress, the chances that the structure may begin to yield and perform is higher. Next, the first principle stress uh, represents the impact of tensile stress on the structure. As can be observed, tensile stress uh, does not have a significant impact on the structure. Not only that, the third principle stress represents the structure's reaction to compression stress. The structure has a significant compression stress at those two parts since the load was directed in the Y axis at the hook and the side plate was set to be fixed. The crane hook is competent to support the 10 Newton loads without breaking. If we increase the diameter of the hook, the simulation is considered successful as the crane hook did not show any failures when the simulation stops. And that's all from me. Thank you very much.